This year, Apple has made some interesting and dramatic changes with iOS 14. And Google, on the other hand, made more smaller refinements with Android 11. In my first video comparing these two operating systems, I looked at some of the new features on iOS 14 and how they compared to Android 11, like widgets, picture in picture, and app library. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link so you can check it out. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the subtle things that these two operating systems offer and see how they compare. So let's get started. On the left, I have iOS 14 running a public beta, and on the right, Android 11 also running its beta version. We're gonna take a look at three things that these two operating systems have in common. The notification window, the quick setting or control center in iOS, and navigation gestures. And we're gonna see how they compare and see which one does a better job at these features. So let's get started. So let's start off with the notification window. Apple has been updating uh, their notification system to make it a little bit better and just more user friendly, but it still doesn't compare to what Android has to offer. So let's take a look at the notification window. And when you first take a look at it, you can see one big difference. With Android 11, they do a better job at putting the important notifications right on top. You can see conversations, my message there is right at the top. And they do that with other applications as well. They tend to put the more important application notifications right on top and the ones that aren't so important get dropped down to the bottom. With iOS 14, it's not like that at all. The notifications come in and they are displayed at whatever time they came in. For example, the notification I recently got was from an application called Newsbreak. That was five minutes ago. And you can see as it goes down, whenever those notifications came in, that's how they're placed. My message, it was 17 minutes ago, but now you can see it's all the way down. Android just does a way better job with notifications. And that's just one small thing. They also group together notifications a lot better as well. You can see more. Look at my email application, for example. You can see two of my emails right there. With iOS 14, you have to actually go to the notification, tap on it, and then you can pull up all the emails or all the notifications specific for that application. So I just feel Android does a way better job and it's been doing a way better job when it comes to notifications for a while now. So now let's take a look at the quick setting. And if you have an iOS device, it's control center. So for iOS, we're all used to it. You swipe down from the right side and that brings up your control center. For Android, you just have to swipe down and then swipe down again. And that brings your quick settings. You can see they're kind of different. Depends on your preference on which one you like better. I kind of like how Control Center makes it a little easier to look at everything, but Android just offers way more when it comes to quick setting. And let's take a look at that. For example, you can do pretty much the same things on both. You can control the brightness on Android right here. With iOS, you control the brightness, the volume. You can also do the same thing on Android, you can control the volume by clicking this button and that brings up the volume there. You can also see what's playing on both the control center and quick settings right there on Android. It has a nice big display. You can see a little bit more of what's actually playing on Android than you can on iOS, which you can see right there as well. You can toggle Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, all of that you can do on both of them. But now let's take a look at the customization because with Android, you have a little bit more options. So if I wanted to add a quick setting, I would click this little pencil icon and now I can choose a setting. For example, dark theme. If I want to add dark theme, I would just hold it down and drag it to whatever position I want. And now when it's done, now I could just swipe over to that and hit dark theme and it changes. Easy. For iOS, we'll go into the settings. And now we will go over 
to control center. And now we can edit what's actually on control center. And it's kind of similar. You would just hit the plus next to whatever you want to add. For example, let's add dark mode. And then we can go ahead and move it up or down. So it kind of puts it in the position you want when you access control center. There we go. So now let's take a look and we can see there's dark mode right there and we could toggle that on and off. The difference is with Android, there's a lot more options. I know you saw a lot of options there with iOS, but that's what Apple gives you. Those are the settings that Apple lets you have in Control Center. But with Android, you actually have options from third party developers as well. For example, if you look here, I have LastPass there. So I actually use LastPass and I can add it as a quick setting on my Android device. I can't do that with iOS 14. It doesn't let me add a third party setting or third party developers application setting into quick settings or into control center. So I do have to say the quick settings for me at least is a lot more useful in Android because I'm able to add those other applications. I can easily toggle or easily access a setting uh, right here in the quick settings tab as opposed to Apple doesn't give you that option but I do like the presentation of control center a little bit better now let's take a look at the navigation gestures because this is another area where both phones are really similar and there are some minor differences when it comes to navigation gestures so in iOS 14 it's pretty much the same that we've had in previous versions of iOS um, to navigate we're all kind of used to those gestures already. And Google with Android kind of does the same thing. So to go home, we would just swipe down from the bottom. You can see that there's a little line there that you can use to swipe down from the bottom and it brings you home. So really easy to get home with both operating systems. To see the applications that are open, you would just swipe up from the bottom with Android and hold it. And it brings up all the applications that are currently open. With iOS 14, it's pretty much the same as previous versions. You would swipe up from the bottom as well and then swipe to the right slightly and it brings up all the applications that are open there as well. To close an application, it's the same way as well. You just swipe up, swipe up, both very similar. Now here's the differences when it comes to these gestures. For example, let's say I'm gonna be browsing the web. With iOS, we know that there is no back button, right? With Android, there's still a back button with gestures. So let's say I'm gonna to go to the iPad now, take a look at the iPad, I wanna go back to where I was. I'm just gonna swipe from the right or the left actually, and it goes back. There's actually a back gesture. And that's not possible on iOS 14. You would have to hit back right here. And depending on the application, there's no back. There's no way to go back to where you were on iOS. And Android, we're used to that and it's here on the gestures as well. You can also go into settings here on Android and then go into gestures and you can even change. If you don't want to use navigation gestures, you can go back to that three button navigation. And that's the very familiar three button navigation that Android phones have had for a very, very long time. These operating systems have never been more similar than they are now, in my opinion at least. And hopefully they continue to add more and more useful features and make the smartphone experience even better. Which operating system is your favorite? iOS 14 or Android 11? Let me know with a comment down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.